I don't know of another plant that is more higher maintenance than lawn. And meadows are the exact dichotomy of that. They're the exact opposite, because lawns really need a lot of inputs, and meadows don't. Take, for instance, a lawn uh, very often has to be watered, or it'll go dormant. And it takes a lot of water to keep a lawn green. Also, it needs to be fertilized constantly. It needs to have leaves cleaned off of it. Some people like it weed-free, so it needs to be uh, uh, bombarded with a lot of uh, toxic uh, pesticides. It needs to be mowed, and a meadow is the exact opposite of that. Meadows need to be mowed once in the springtime, and that's it. There's no pesticides, there's no fertilizers, there's no uh, insect problems. We let the meadows stay up all winter long, and that provides cover and food for uh, wildlife. And then uh, come springtime, we mow it down, leave all the material right in place, and a fresh meadow comes up each year. A lawn has been dubbed green concrete. And the reason why green concrete is because during a heavy rain, 85% of the rain will actually run off, and 15% of the water will actually percolate in. So as that water runs off, it can cause erosion, and it also takes with it a, a soup of whatever was applied onto the lawn. A meadow is a really, really good way to reduce erosion on properties, especially where there's any kind of a slope, because there's a, more of a matrix of plant material that will hold the water from rushing down over the surface of the soil. The meadow can actually suck up a lot of nutrients and also pollutants and hold them in the plant material or in the soil until they're broken down by the soil biology instead of going directly into the water. Once a, the meadow is established and if it's uh, designed well, it will be a healthy, thriving ecosystem that will be uh, really, really productive for the local flora and fauna. A lot of the wildlife will come back to your property. There's nothing more sterile than just a monoculture of lawn. Go sit in the middle of a lawn and see what v visits you, maybe a robin or two. Go sit in the middle of a wildflower meadow and see what comes visits you. There'll be a plethora of different types of organisms, and most of them beneficial and quite beautiful.